Now, what I'm curious, what are, the, what are some of the, you, we were talking yesterday about positive beliefs that people have. What is something that doesn't relate to this issue, but it's a belief that you do believe about yourself that's positive? What are some resources that you do? Not that one. <laughs> Public television. I believe um, I'm creative and I believe I'm weird. Okay. And I consider that unorthodox, willing okay. to experiment. Okay, now. Here becomes, I mean, already now we have a couple of things going on here. Listen to what this information gets us. Number one is instead of just sitting around and trying to buffet around some limiting belief, by putting it into these contexts, it gives us some places to go. What beliefs do you need? Well, it tells us where we need to track to. Now there's another interesting thing. She says, I'm creative and I'm weird. Now, if that's, that is an identity statement, Okay. I want to be able to be capable of doing organiz organizing things for business. Do creative and weird people, are they successful in business? Well, are they? <laughs> well, but that's, see, I think when you start hearing here is you wonder, well, do you have to be organized and very hard-headed and very, you know, so on and so forth to be successful? And um, whether it's true or not, I, I mean, I haven't agree with you as far as the belief is, Maybe the belief I want to make is that her creativity and weirdness is what can make her successful in business. Yeah, but I think we need to find out whether, okay, can you be creative and weird and successful in business? Well, I had to ask, I'm not sure. Would you tend to go more towards no or more towards yes? Mm -hmm. Probably. Probably more towards no. Probably. <laughs> See, because now what we have is, she says, I don't have a good business head. What kind of head she does have that she's willing, that she says is, I've got a creative and weird head. Now, the th that's the question is, does, is being creative and weird, going to assist or going to interfere with having a good business head? If, if a good business head is a creative and weird head, then you got one. You already you, so so that belief is no longer. I mean, so I must already. not believe that a creative and weird head is a good thing to have for business. Kind of looks that way. The reason the head said that is just. Besides <laughs> <laughs> which, I almost fell off the stool on no. Yes. <clears throat> so notice what we're doing here is part of the reason I'm asking about some of the beliefs. What are resource beliefs? Number one, I might find right there that there's already conflict between identity and capability. She was saying this is really a how-to, this is really a capability. And this is an identity. This is who I am. I am creative and weird. Now, how many of you would be willing to give up your identity to get a capability? How much? <laughs> <laughs> That's <a business> <laughs> Dollar three eighty. How about you? Are you willing to give up your belief in creative and weird to become a businesswoman or to have a head for business, so to say? If it has to be an either or, no. Okay. But in your structure, is it either or? Seems to be. I think there's a little hope that maybe it's not true, which is why I'm up here. Yeah. There's a little hope. <laughs> How big? Besides which, I've been told all my life I don't have a good head for business. Ah. Oh. Oh. Remember, now we have, remember we were asking about what's the cause, it's the cause of the beating her up. How could I forget that? Yeah. <laughs> That's what's been beating Brainwashing. Okay, now, she's been told all her life also tells us about representational systems. Now, that voice that we might want to have a little fun with slight of nah. mouth. Nah. <laughs> See, that's the question. Where do we want to use a slight of mouth? Like, <laughs> where would it be best used? Like, if you went... I love to ruin internal dialogue. Really? If you, if, you went, if you went inside right now and listened to that voice, whose voice would it be? It would be my father's with a French accent. Mm -hmm. What kind of things does it say? What's the matter with you? <laughs> yes. Don't you know to do with your money? Mm -hmm. Does it tell you everything? Okay. Now let's say we want to slide a mouth at. 
we get oh. Richard Morales to do it in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? And by the way, notice it's like here we had a little hope. Here we have notice is this uh, is this you know we, we're kind of if we've got this helpless, hopeless kind of a thing going on here, and probably it's like being a little person. When people talk about feeling small and stuff, usually it's kind of like a regression back to this particular time. Well, what, how could we slide a mouth this thing with this voice, this father who's telling you, well, don't you know what to do with your money? I said, yeah, spend it. <laughs> <laughs> what would he say? I mean, Oh, even if I said yes, yeah, spend it? Yeah. Oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. <laughs> I put the voice out there. He's, I wanted to no, be that's your, for a while. That's your Irish mother. <laughs> no. My mother didn't have a lot to say about money. It was I just believe you. Me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spend the money. No, no, no. After all the money I've made in my life, as long as I've worked, I should have a lot more to show for it. That's what, that's what he says to you. That yeah, you should but with have, the French accent. That's what he says to you. He should have more oh, shit yeah. to show for it. I'm a great disappointment. Mm -hmm. Now we're I getting. Just, I forgot that until just now. By the way, now we're getting into worthless, disappointing. By the way, does your father have a lot of money? I think so, but he's always been very secretive about how much money he has. Mm -hmm. After we show him this tape, he won't be. <laughs> think he's going to see this tape? No way. <laughs> well. But see, what I'm hearing you're saying now, I, I, is the reason I'm asking is a couple of other things, because now here's where you also get into the identity. She was saying these words. Remember when Wes said, what's your evidence? She said those words to me as if they were coming from her. These words aren't, that's not, the, that's not her evidence. That's the evidence with the father. Should have more money for all I have worked, and it's never <coughs> going to be good enough, is it? Right. Notice she doesn't even pronoun. know how much he has, because good enough compared to what? Yeah. She doesn't know how much he wants. Right. Doesn't know what rich is. And she will never be able to measure it. She doesn't know what it is. And what if she did what if she did have money and was like a father? Do you want to be like your father? Would you want to Do I want to be head? like him? No. Okay. So in other words, that's where you're getting it's like if we take the belief, if I if you were this if you were rich and successful, would you be like your father? Maybe so. And he's not very happy. And he mm -hmm. worries about money constantly. Mm -hmm. Does he have a good business head? I think he probably does. I guess I believe he does. Mm -hmm. So now I think you see what the, the issue is. Well, it's no wonder. It's like, remember somebody once telling me they wanted to lose weight. And I said, well, you ever, had you ever been thin? They said, oh, yeah, I was a beauty queen in college. I'd like to look just like that. And she actually, these words actually came out of her mouth. Yeah, really, I want to look like I did when I didn't like myself. <laughs> oh, sure, I'll, uh, I'd be happy to do that for you, you know. You know, I'd be happy to make you not like yourself again. I mean, in other words, what she's saying is, I want to do something that violates a whole lot of things about me. Now, here, though, is where we can start to see the, where we can do the side of mouth things, to do the redefining. Is it really true that to have a good head for business, you have to worry about money, Think like your father, and so on and so forth all the time. Of course! But of course! Is that true? <laughs> I mean, if your father was sitting right here, and we were talking to him, and I said, well, no, I think that you know, a lot of the people that I know are successful in business are actually quite creative. In fact, you know... Well, he's creative, too. Is he weird? <laughs> Hangs around I in a Cuban neighborhood speaking French. Is that weird? <laughs> I guess he's pretty unorthodox.